So my guest this week on Hudson Mohawk Magazine uh, has an upcoming show at the Lark Street Tavern in Albany on March 3rd, and she just put out a uh, new comedy special on Mark Norman's YouTube channel called Queef Week, and she has an upcoming uh, stand-up special that's all in Spanish. She's made appearances on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, Conan, Inside Amy Schumer, Last Comic Standing, The Late Show with David Letterman, The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, <laughs> and At Midnight, uh, I want to welcome to the show Carmen Lynch. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. Wow, you had a, quite a list there. You did some research. <laughs> Honestly, I was going to do more, but that was Wikipedia. Yeah. So it, it summed oh, it up wow. pretty well for me. It's it's pretty easy to do the research when the, there's so much to pick from. You've done a lot. Oh, so. thank you. So yeah. Thank you for uh, joining us on the show and up in Albany and all that. It's, um, I'm excited to see the show. I was a big fan of the special uh, when thank it came you. out. Um, and, uh, you know, it's... I've gotten a lot of reactions telling people uh, that the special is called Queef Week when I mentioned the show coming up to people. Um, which what is did they a, say? <laughs> well, it's, it's, they always just make a face. It's, it almost like yeah. brightens up their day that I just have to say Queef to them. You know what I mean? I feel like yeah. it's, it's a beautiful title for a special. H have you gotten any It's particular... probably not the best. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten a lot of reactions. Like people laugh. I say it on stage a lot. I'm like, this is different material. If you want to see my special... Um, it's called Queef Week. And then you always see like people who look confused because some people just don't know uh, what a queef is, if they're if they're foreigners or if they're over a certain age. I um, thought at so this point the word was out. I, I so did I. Knew. But it, it's funny. Like, it's also funny because sometimes I do like clean shows and I'll send them my bio. And this one group was like, uh, I, I don't know how to say this, but uh uh, and I could I could tell what they wanted to say because they were big fans, but they were like, we 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 can't. Is there anything else we can use? <laughs> well, I mean, we can't swear on Hudson Mohawk Magazine, but we can talk about queefs as much as we want. Not not that it's going to be a major theme, but if I guess if right. is there anything else you would like to tell the audience to give them context if they don't know what Queef Week might entail. Um, well, the, it's funny, the, the special is not, that's not like a theme throughout the special. Well, I, I know, I know, I know. But... I mean, for people who haven't seen it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but like, but yeah, there is a joke in there about a situation, uh, that would happen to women. And so obviously I explain it yeah. and it, it, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't happen in this scenario to a lot of women. I haven't met anyone who's had it in, in the place where I talk about in, uh, you know, I'm not going to ruin the joke, but, but in that, <laughs> in that scenario, but, uh, but yeah, I think most women and men actually, cause you know, if, if most men, uh, it's sometimes it's funny. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll say, does anyone not know what a queef is? And, uh, and it's the man who has to explain it to his girlfriend. So <laughs> yeah, you never know. It's, yeah. It's been interesting. It and sounds of course, about Mark right. Norman loves that word. So it was kind of perfect to uh, have that as a title. Yeah, it's like a it's it's a great promotional device because it's so catchy. It's like a built in little catchphrase. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> a good reason to talk about it when you have to promote yeah. it really lightens yeah. up the conversation, um, especially, I guess, the, the next part of the conversation could go either way. You know, I want to you're coming up to Albany, which is which is great. I'm excited to see you. But, you know, as a as a high level New York City comic, I'm sure Albany's the butt of a lot of jokes uh, in a lot of situations. It is to a lot of comics yeah What's, what is I, your impression of albany going into it i mean it's it's you know when, when you are uh down here in i'm in queens i'm not even actually in manhattan but um but you know you uh i don't know the specifics about albany my dad did grow up in uh upstate so i'm familiar with like rochester elmira you know, Syracuse, but I, I don't have specifics of where they are exactly. Yeah. And I hope that doesn't offend anyone who's from Albany, but, um, but I'm always excited to go and, uh, and I'm bringing a, a great feature, Andrew Chavon, and we travel a lot together when we, you know, we do road gigs and stuff. So I think it's going to be great. It's going to be really fun. Yeah. I'm excited to see you guys. Albany. I've heard yeah. great things about Andrew as well. Um, so I'm excited to hear. And, you know, I think, I think people 
in Albany have a good sense of humor about it. It is like some some of them get are like oh like New York City elites or whatever, but most of them are happy to make jokes about Albany. I'm not trying to say you know you can't. I just picture a place where it snows a lot and, uh, and you yeah, ha you have a lot of targets. You know, yeah, uh, we I'm do sure, have we I'm do sure have way... targets. You do okay, and Dunkin' Donuts. So yeah, we got those. There's one right next door to the venue, actually. Oh well, there you go. I mean, I'm from Virginia, so I know what it's like to live in the in the burbs. Oh, okay. I'm not. I wasn't a, always a, a city girl, and I don't always consider myself one. Yeah, well, you know, it's just where the comedy is. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But uh, you know, it is cold, like you said. I know you were just in Bermuda, so it's yeah, it's not going to be not as like refreshing that, so. as yes. But it is it is beautiful. Uh, pretty let nice. Let me out tell today. you, it, it's hard to fly from Bermuda on like the most beautiful day. Like it rained while I was there. We had one day of sun. But then to leave and you're like, this is the day The really this is the day where I have to go to the airport. Like, yeah, it's just so, it's it's a tough one. But yeah, life is yeah, hard. Well, hey, well, I'm, like I said, Albany will be it'll still be fun. It'll uh, it'll leave you with a good impression. But hopefully <laughs> you'll see at some point when it's not freezing cold out. Um, I also wanted to ask you, you know, out of the other things you talk about in Queef Week, you talk about uh, finding out that you have Marfan syndrome. I um, don't have it though. The people oh, you don't? Think I, I have it. Oh, no, okay. They I... ask me all the time, but I don't have it. I thought you said in the special that you your arms were what is it? Your arms were longer than your height, or yeah, but but it doesn't mean you have it. But oh, um, okay. But yeah, even if they come like really close, because the the whole trick is if your arms are longer than your height, you have Marfans, but. It doesn't mean you have Marfans and mine are probably like the same, but, but it, you know, you have to have a, a, but I went to two different doctors because even it was funny, like right after I recorded that special, like two days later, that exact thing happened again. Like this woman in the audience was like, listen, I'm a doctor and I know you have Marfans. And I was like, that's it. I'm going to the doctor. And I went to like a specialist and he's like, let me tell you something. You don't, you don't have Marfans. And then he went down this entire list, showed me all these things on the internet that I didn't have. And he's like, not that there's anything wrong with having it, but I was like, listen, we need to find out because people keep asking me if I have Marfans. And he's like, you don't have Marfans. Well, so. since the special has come out, does that has that just amplified the Marfans questions even more now? Or Who do you knows? think you cleared I mean, it up pretty well? I think I, mean, I, I still have it up, but I I think more people know what it is now. Um, but I, it's funny when I read through the comments on, on Queef Week on the YouTube, uh, special, uh, pe people are still commenting like, nope, she's definitely got Marfans. And then some people started adding new, new diseases and new disorders. And I'm like, just go at it. I don't care. Just watch it and share it. I don't care what you say. <laughs> um, well, it was how I found out. So it's very interesting to know. Um, and, uh, I guess before we wrap up here, you know, uh, just, related to your upcoming uh, special that's only in Spanish, you know, it's cool that you can do both English and Spanish shows. Do you have any particular favorite Spanish jokes that you will just try? Or like something that's a little bit of Spanish that you like to just try out on an English crowd to see if they can understand it? You mean like during a real show or you yeah. mean right now? During well, I the show? Well, like a little thing that almost is like a, like a little, it's, it works in, in the context of an English set. You know what I mean? Uh, hmm. um, I mean, most of the, I would say about 65 to 70% of the jokes in the Spanish one are in, are from the English special. Oh, like, so okay. A lot yeah, of stuff yeah. works, but the other 25, 30%, I had to just do other jokes because they just didn't translate. Yeah. Yeah. So, but what was funny was uh, someone, I was in Spain promoting the Spanish one and, uh, and they were like, what is the English one called? And I'm like, queef week. And they were like, we don't have a word for queef. And I was like, you guys don't have a word for a lot of things. So queef week in Spanish is literally la semana del pedo vaginal, which, <laughs> which is the, the week of the vaginal fart. And I'm like, yeah, that's not what I'm calling Such it. Such a There's beautiful no language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> well, yeah, I do got to wrap up in a sec. Uh, but what I I was thinking of when I brought that up is uh, I I listened to this Larry David interview on Conan the other day, where he's talking about this uh this bit he used to do when he would when Larry David would do the clubs before Seinfeld, and he would uh he would say like. He would start the special or the uh, show off by saying like, "Oh, I like you. You're a great audience so far. I feel like I'm getting to know you. Do you mind if I use the two form?" That's and then, hilarious. Yeah. Right, and and then he, if they if they didn't get it, he yeah. which I didn't. I had to. I know a little bit of Spanish, and I still didn't, yeah. Like I didn't think of that when he it takes a second though. Yeah. Even for me, I was like, "Oh, the T U form, like the Spanish, not the T O." Instead of Usted, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and if they didn't know what he was talking about, he would just start ranting at. <laughs> but that's great. Yeah. So that uh, yeah, I wasn't sure if you had any examples like that. It just seems like a funny way to approach a set, and I feel like there's so many creative options you get with having that like bilingual tool set. You know. You... I mean, usually I just ask who speaks Spanish in the audience, and yeah. if they do, I just start going off in Spanish, just so it's between us and the whole rest of the audience is completely confused and lost which can be really fun yeah yeah, yeah. um but it's fun it's fun in in certain parts uh, of the world where you go like even in bermuda like most shows i was like is anyone speak spanish and you'd hear this one yo like it was just <laughs> one voice i'm like you guys need more spanish people um well hopefully we get some out at, at the show uh you know for everyone who wants to come see carmen in albany uh, in English. Can, in English. It is in English. <laughs> yes, it is Unless in English. Unless you want to do some requests in Spanish. <laughs> um, she'll be at the Lark Street Tavern in Albany on March 3rd at 6 p.m. Um, and once again, her special on Mark Norman's YouTube channel is Queef Week. And do you have a title for the Spanish special coming out in May? It's just going to be Carmen Lynch en Español. Because I want people to, to know uh, that it's, you know, in Spanish. It's just very See. simple see <laughs> well thank you so much for joining us is there anywhere else you want people to check you out online yes on all socials at carmen comedian check out my dates i have a lot of shows after albany um and uh, a lot of videos and uh just check out mark norman's youtube for queef week all right well thank you so much for joining us and thank uh you. i'll see you at the show carmen have a good one sounds good thanks so much I don't know where this this recording button is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so I can't find it on Zoom. I don't record in oh. Zoom a lot. Oh, yeah.